Hello and welcome back to Coding with Unity. My name is Andy and today I'll be showing you how to edit the default script templates that are used when creating a new script within Unity. I'll also be showing you how to rearrange them and create your own. It's actually really simple, it doesn't require any code at all, and all you need to learn is the format of the name of the file, which you can see here. The first part of the file name is the index or the order the menu item appears in the context menu. The second part is optional and is only needed if you want the custom template file you're adding to appear under another context menu. So it would say, create my script, script one. The third part of the file name is the name that will appear in the context menu. And the fourth part is the name of the file that will be created. There are two ways to create or modify script template files. We can make them in our editor's install location, which can be found in editor, data, resources, script templates. Or we can override the script templates by creating a script templates folder inside the assets directory of the currently opened Unity project, allowing us to replace or add new templates on a project by project basis. So how do we actually create the script templates? Well, it's pretty simple really. First, let's look at how to do it in the install directory. On my machine, it's under Program Files, Unity, Hub, Editor, My Version Name, Editor, Data, Resources, Script Templates. If we open up the c -sharp script template, it should look familiar to you because this is the template class used when creating a new c -sharp script. The only difference is I've already gone ahead and removed the comments that used to be right here. If you're following along, you can go ahead and remove your comments too. You could even get rid of the start and the update methods if you don't want them to auto-populate inside your script. After making the edits that you want to edit, we can save out of the file and exit. But while we're in here, let's take a look at this part which says pound, script name, pound. The script name is derived from this part of your script as we said earlier. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. And if we go into Unity and we create a new C -sharp script, you'll see that it was named New Behavior Script, which right here says New Behavior Script. And if we open it up, well, we don't even have to open it up. We can just look right here. You see that it says Public Class, New Behavior Script, and it no longer has the comments inside of our Start and Update methods. Now let's go back into the directory that holds our script templates and you'll see I already have this file made, but I'm going to remove it and we can create it now. Now let's make a script template for when we create a new scriptable object and we will have it display directly under the context menu for creating a new C -sharp script. The way we're going to do that is first, let's look at the new behavior script for the C -sharp, and it has an 81 for the index. So the first thing we want to do is make an index of 82 for our new file. Let's right click, go to new, new text document. And we'll put an 82 for the index, then a dash, then we'll type the name of the context menu that will appear inside of Unity. We'll say scriptable object. And now let's put another dash and let's type the name of the script when it appears inside of Unity. We'll say new scriptable object.cs. Let's click enter. Now open up this text document and let's type out what we want our format to look like. First, we'll add in our usings. Then it's going to look pretty much the exactly the same as the mono behavior script, except for it's going to say public class, pound script name, pound scriptable object instead of mono behavior. And one last thing we can do is add in the create asset menu above public class which will look like this, create asset menu, file name equals quote new pound script name pound quote, comma menu name equals quote pound script name pound quote, comma order equals zero. 
and that way it'll automatically, as soon as we create a new scriptable object file, we'll automatically be able to create a new scriptable object of the name of that file after creating it, without ever having to open the actual file. And to show what I mean, let's save this, go into Unity, and create a new scriptable object. So let's right click, go to Create, you'll see it says Scriptable Object underneath our C-sharp script. Let's click that, it says New Scriptable Object, let's name it something else. We'll name it Item. After creating that, when the buffering finishes, we can go ahead and right click again, go to Create, and you'll see it says Item. And when we click Create it, it says New Item. Opening up the item script that we created, you'll see that it says the exact same thing as our template script, except where it filled in the slots for script names. So you can see it says public class item is a scriptable object, create asset menu, new item, menu name, item, which is exactly what we wanted. Perfect. Another thing we can do is if we go back into here, we can actually organize better our scriptable object by adding in the optional part that we talked about earlier. So let's put this under My Templates. And the divider for your first context menu and your second context menu is two underscores. Make sure to put two and not one. It's easy to think that it's one, but it is two underscores and it won't work without two. Now that it says My Templates, if we go back into Unity and right click, it's still going to say scriptable object because we need to close and reopen Unity if we change anything in the file name. If we change the template itself, it's fine, we don't have to reopen Unity. But if we change the file name, we will have to reopen Unity, or if we create new files. So let's reopen Unity and see if our change worked. So let's go to right click, create, and you'll see it says my templates, scriptable object. And when we create the scriptable object, it'll have the same functionality as it had before. It says create asset menu, new weapon, weapon. And when we right click, we can say create weapon. Excellent. That works exactly how we expected it to. When organizing items in the second context menu, if we have five items in the My Templates context menu that span well past these 83, 84, 85, and so on, It'll still organize based off the lowest index number of 82, and then all of the higher numbers will be the organized numbers for the second context menu instead of the first. So you won't have to worry about it overflowing past these other ones and confusing your organization. It's worth pointing out that if we wanted to organize our c -sharp script and our scriptable object together under a c -sharp scripts context menu, it would in turn expose one of the other items in the template folder that uses the c -sharp script name, which seems odd to me and would be nice if Unity would fix the organization of this file a little better, because it doesn't 100% make sense to some of the files that are listed in the context menu. For example, the state machine behavior script are added through the animator controller states, but the templates for it is in the same file with the same format, yet does not appear in the context menu for creating new items. As you can see here, there's nothing that says state machine behavior. To be able to create a state machine behavior, we have to create an animator controller, go into that animator controller, create a state, click on the state, and add a behavior. Which, if we do edit this file, it will change the template for that behavior, but it just doesn't make sense, and it would be nice if Unity would make it more clear how this file works. And maybe they would have made it more clear, and I just was unable to find the documentation that explained it. If somebody does know of a place that better explains it, feel free to link it in the comment section below. But, let's say you have a script template you want to add that you do not want in every project because it's a template specific to the project that you're currently working on. No problem, let's just create a new script templates folder inside our assets directory and create the template we want following the same rules shown before. The only exception in the rules is, if we copy the context menu name of a file from the install directory, then we can override that template with the per project template. 
So for a quick explanation of that, we can copy our C Sharp script, the new behavior script, go into our explorer of where our script templates folder is for this project. We'll paste it in, open it up, and let's make a quick change to it. We'll just add a comment that says, this is custom for this project. Let's save that out. And I'm not sure if we're going to have to reopen Unity, but I don't think we'll have to. Let's see. Create new C Sharp script. And it did not appear in the comments, so let's close and reopen and see if it does. If it doesn't, then I'm just completely wrong about this overriding them. And if I am wrong, then that's definitely a feature that it should have. I'll name it test. Cool. After reopening Unity, it says this is custom for this project. Excellent. That works exactly how we expected it to. And if we wanted to create any other scripts that were not an override script, we can just do the same thing that I showed before, name it how we want, give it the index, and reopen Unity, and it'll be in your Create Context menu. If you have any questions or think I missed something, Leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if I'm taking too long to reply, you can always join my Discord where I'll reply faster. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't, you know what to do. But preferably leave a comment explaining why so you can help me help you enjoy my next video. And as always, have a wonderful day and stay coding.